So where do we find sulfur? Well, sulfur naturally occurs as deposits of free elements in volcanic and sedimentary areas in Italy, USA, Russia and in the UK. As hydrogen sulfide, usually in natural gas and petroleum, sulfates present in ocean, and as metal sulfide ores, which is the main source for Australia. German-American chemist Hermann Frasch developed the process to extract sulfur from deposits from underground. This involved using three concentric pipes which are lowered down into the ore. Superheated water, at about 160 degrees Celsius, is pumped down the outer pipe and compressed hot air is blown down the inner pipe. This forces a frothy mixture of molten sulfur and water up the middle pipe because water and sulfur don't mix. Also, sulfur's low melting point of 115 degrees Celsius means that the water has to be done under pressure. Then you can just collect the molten sulfur in another bin where it is solidified. It's simple really, but is it perfect? Sulfur has huge environmental concerns because if it leaks, it easily oxidizes to sulfur dioxide or reduces to hydrogen sulfide, both toxic and irritating gases even at low concentrations. The superheated water can pick up nasty impurities so it must be purified before being released back into the environment or recycled. Also releasing the water back into the environment can cause thermal pollution. Finally, a cavern or gaping hole is left after the sulfur is removed, so it's prone to collapse. Not good.